The African Union will celebrate its 50th anniversary at the end of May. CCTV reporter Hona has been speaking to the Ethiopian ambassador here in Beijing to try and get his take on Sino-AU cooperation. The African Union is celebrating its 50th anniversary. So what do you think is the biggest achievement so far and what does the future hold for this organization? The forefathers or the founders of uh, the OAU have uh, been excessively, I mean, successfully have implemented their mission by getting rid of the continent from colonialism and colonial work. Mm -hmm. Now the present generation and future generations have also a mission. Demolishing colonialism was not an end by itself, but to liberate Africa, to liberate Africa and transform Africa. So the unity of Africa has to be built on the basis of the diversity of that continent, a united Africa, politically, economically, socially united Africa. This is a dream of the present and the coming generations of Africa. But some people describe the African Union as a talk show for African leaders where issues are discussed but not really implemented. So what is being done to remove such negative perception? Well, I agree with you. Mainly it is a misperception. It is perceived as a club of African leaders. But truly the OAU and the AU are aiming for people-centered union and unity of Africa. The organization and member countries of this organization need to do better in popularizing who this organization is, what it stands for, and a lot remains to be done along this line so that to avoid or to, to, to correct the misperception and give the right perception of the organization. So besides those massive infrastructure construction projects, what else do African countries and the African Union in particular expect to get from its cooperation with China? Sino-African trade volume has, has again come to the level of 200 billion. This is a huge benefit. China's Chinese market for African products is just an ocean. It's a limb. The sky is a limit. So definitely we want to benefit from the huge market of, of China. But we want China to assist us in developing mm. our, our, our agriculture and industrializing Africa and so that we produce enough and with the required standard to penetrate the Chinese market and to penetrate the other markets. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you Thanks time. a lot. Thank you.